Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen, my name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Long War series where I'm trying to beat the game on Legendary Arm and Difficulty. So um, today will be one of those episodes where you are going to like it, I think, because we're uh, having, I think, four back-to-back -back -back missions overall, so this episode next will be plenty of action. And we're starting with Operation Falling Cry, where we're having a squad of three trying to get another scientist. Speaking of scientists, I was uh, thinking we do have two open uh, cores. And I will say that before we jump into the mission, we do have two open or exposed um, cores. And they actually uh, provide uh, energy even if they do not necessarily... Um, if you do not necessarily uh, buy a generator on it. If you buy a generator on it, that's great. You can see it generates 11 um, power by itself. But the, mo uh, the most power hungry buildings are uh, Shadow Chamber by far. And the second most power hungry is the laboratory. And I was thinking uh, you can get, I think, a discount of 10 um, energy just by building onto that uh, core. So in that rare event, we might be able to squeeze in a laboratory nonetheless, which I will prioritize next. Costs, I think, 150, so we will need to sell some stuff. <clears throat> but we'll uh, most certainly um, get to that, um, uh, to that laboratory. And we can upgrade it next month up to four scientists. So the logic would be we're now getting to 12 scientists, and then we get a laboratory, we staff four um, scientists on top of that. So we're at 16 scientists, which uh, should propel our research quite a bit. And we got a continent bonus for uh, an additional 20% for weapon research. So I can rush towards plasma tier and actually start having coil weapons and plasma so without further ado let's go to operation falling cry and see if we can get that 12th scientist we'll need to escort the vip to the evac point stay alert for hostile contacts menace one five target coordinates incoming secure the vip and proceed to the evac volume for extraction advent already knows we're here so your position isn't concealed for the extraction okay well if it isn't concealed, uh, then we might uh, just start to move in. I think Sonar is going to take the point on this one. Just moving up. Uncle Uber would be good in high ground. So let's try to move him up there. And we should be good. Sona might trigger something. Nope. On the move. Nothing either. All right, I'll go. Good. Just a bit of an overwatch crawl here. Yeah, something is right in front of us. Moving on target location. Will do. All right, interestingly enough, nothing. Someone is, uh, someone is inside of the building. Full cover. <sighs> Just anxiously awaiting the trigger, but it somehow isn't happening. enemies so we were well advised not to move in too close Fire in the hole. I 
unfortunately destroyed a little bit of loot. Um, but we have two overwatches, so we should be a okay. We saw that there are multiple other packs behind. Very good. Priest is holy warrioring. Doesn't have a direct line of sight to us, which is good, so no. On my way. So no stupid um, stasis. Could go for this explosion and good. I think that's the play here. That will trigger Overwatch. But we are protected, so we're, we should be okay. We got a placable, so killing this guy, moving forward, killing the other would be the right play. Hopefully that'll get the tower. It gets him, but it does not get the tower, unfortunately. <clears throat> Good chance of killing him. Very nice. We're using a placable to move up. And let's now get the priest. Unfortunate. Decent chance to crit. Priest will go down next turn. Yep, I was afraid that that might happen. Priest first at sustenance. Yeah, of course. Unfortunately, not an overkill like I was hoping it would happen. Gets another turn just so that we can also reload. Remove cover. And we're out of grenades. <clears throat> Ready to engage. Line of sight broken, so we're just going to reload in Overwatch. Was a hit, but not a kill. Over here. This will maybe trigger another pack. Does not. Score. I hope it's worth 
Good, we're moving up. There was the last pack. We've just seen it. <clears throat> Got plenty of turns left over, so we're not triggering that yet. Send corrected, there were two more packs. Good hit. Did we kill it? I think we did. No, we did not. Okay. Good. Good. It might have been the pack that we have seen, so it actually was the last pack, elsewise the faces one wouldn't show their dirty, dirty face. As much as I want to light them up, That'll kill the civilian, and the civilian costs us willpower, and thus we're not going to do it. Still a last pack. Okay, back. <clears throat> As always, something was happening in between the recordings. Gosh damn it, I wish I could dedicate enough time onto a single playthrough without being interrupted. At times, that really stinks, but what can you do? moves over I don't want to trigger without properly being reloaded so this round is really all about proper reloading and next turn we're either going to flee that's one two three four all right see you later don't need to fight the last pack Triple Viper, hashtag not my style. Alright, still a good mission overall quick and uh, painless. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Two extra points for a difficult mission. I always like those extra ability points. They are so spar uh, sparse in Long War. Getting extra ones are good. It's almost like uh, having more of the chosen interaction is valuable as well just makes your soldiers so much stronger. Good, St. Elliot, uh, Rupture is good. Here's the deal, by the way, with Rupture. I 
read up on it. I mean, plasma weapons do rupture, but Long War of the Chosen, uh, compared to Long War 2, change that uh, ruptures of plasma weapons do not stack, but rupture as a skill. Um, so rupture from different sources stacks with a plasma weapon. So that is very good. We're uh, going to go for rapid fire for him, um, simply because we want more shots. And for Uncle Nuber, very similar uh, case. I like Death from Above, absolutely good if it triggers. I think we're going for holo targeting at uh, some point as well. Uh, combat fitness definitely good. Rupture is good. Uh, aggression would be one of the things that I would also want to skill. And um, bring him on would be nice as well. So full like shooty shooty build with all of its glory. For now. We're going for rapid fire. By the way, uh, tactical defense and fortify also not bad at all. If we have enough points, uh, we could dabble into that. Problem is, I really need to uh, select very well which kind of abilities we're going to take. Um, one more scientist, that's good. Need plenty to also field the uh, staff, the Psylabs. So we're back to the global layer and I want to think about Avenger visiting market. the black market yet again. Gosh, I must have sold so much to the black market. So it's going to hurt a bit more because we're um, selling stuff. We're selling stuff. Uh, I will save the Ilarium core, more Ilarium cores now because I still want mechs and we want plasma weapons which all require an Ilarium core. So we're, I, I feel we're now out of the early game. We're solidly in mid game, uh, which is where I typically start saving up Ilarium cores. Uh, sector corpses are relevant for mine shields, which I value highly. Viper corpses, on the other hand, not as valuable. Uh, you can use them for um, Viper rounds and gas grenades, that's fine. I'll keep all of the trooper corpses, mainly because they are a super cheap um, option to get um, alloys up. But uh, with higher alloys, we might also be able to sell a couple more of them, to be fair. We're going to get more trooper corpses as time passes. And... Stocks don't need those. That's good, but we have plenty. Autoloader, good. Yeah, the alloy platings is what I'm talking about. They are just fantastic. Suppressors are good. Advanced suppressors are even better. Um, Iron skin, don't need, not immediately. And one Alarium crystal to get us over 150. Okay, we're going to get that in a second uh, and I need more money. Uh, to be precise, 40 more because there are no uh, two new recruits. So laboratory build it is. Let's uh, speed that up down to seven days. I need 180 uh, more in order to upgrade it. It's 60 per upgrade, but we are looking at eight days. So I think it is reasonable to say uh, we're just taking the income, which is going to be around 250 and that income we would invest in upgrading the laboratory. We also need to uh, free or liberate uh, another region so that we uh, can get more uh, monetary income. We are at the point where kind of a new further liberated area would uh, greatly support our, our cause. Um, new Australia is the closest one 
Um, New India is one that I am desperately trying to uh, to liberate. So once uh, this is going in the right direction, we're fine. Once New, New Australia is liberated, I would potentially put eight people on to um, on to supplies and two on to recruiting, so that uh, we get from ten to whatever uh, thirteen over time. So th that would be helpful. And with another kind of eight on supplies, we should get closer to the 500. Put another engineer um, on top of it because we don't need all of the engineers every time here. Um, and that should propel us to give and take. Mm, nah. The first engineer here is actually super valuable. That should propel us to give and take 500, 550, minus the chosen techs. Uh, they are always taking a part of uh, your stuff. Uh, we should be good. We should get to 500, and 500 is a lot because then we can finally buy a lot of the upgrades uh, that are currently missing, as well as build more stuff. And I'll cut back a bit more on the uh, selling um, selling items uh, in part is we need a lot more to just build in terms of Valerium and Alloys we're far ahead like this is super good uh, Intel looks super solid um, I am almost contemplating if we hit 200 Intel whether or not we're going to expand directly in the United States for 200 instead of building another radio relay tower which would cost us 350 that way we have two of the North American regions I build another tower and then we can uh, take uh, the entirety of North America and the entirety of South America without building new towers Granted, it won't give you the um, the continent bonus for South America, but you at least get access uh, to it in in a quick fashion. Now, next mission, we are freeing two um, uh, recruits and a bit of resistance personnel. We got um, two of our psi operatives that are hopefully getting promoted here. We got Frodo, Arclight, and Beta on top of it, so that should be fun. Well, let's jump right into the mission. So a couple of quick missions here. Well, that might not be as quick. Wow. Massive map. That's one of the largest maps that I've seen in a while. Peter is going to be our scout. This will be a lot of double movement. Not even worth going on uh, on top of the buildings not even worth going on top of the buildings because we just need to move in as straight as possible reinforcements might be a topic for us the question is if we're now if we're not breaking uh, concealment now we might be stuck here for a while Wow, you did not just miss three shots. Three times 70 plus shots, all of them missed, great. A single drone, the end boss of this very mission. I think we had another soldier with AP rounds, now let's trace our rounds. Well, great. <laughs> Ninety percent shot missed. That was the first hit. All right, I'll go. There you go. 
Wow. Took us only 375% uh, shots, 290% uh, shots, 290% plus percent shots and 190% shot. Easy. I want the alloys. But what I want and what I'm getting ain't the same, baby. We can't just single move. We simply can't. It's not going to work out. So we're aggressively continuing to push forward. Okay, nothing on the one side. <coughs> nothing on the other side. We're still quick. Want to make sure that we're not falling into the typical trap of reinforcements, reinforcements, reinforcements. I saw another drone. I saw another drone right here. Nah, 70% and I want to kill him. <coughs> Good hit. Unfortunately, miss on the second one. Enemy is still up. It's not Sam's best day. Good, that's a kill and we should get oh yeah we got more temp hp fantastic very good good rescue protocol for quake And we're going to go for full cover. I've got eyes on our troops. Let's rock. Arc light casually says, Let's rock, and goes. For the drone. Oh, very well done. You can't handle me. Let's get the engineer. 
Good hit. Overall good hit. Move up. And the Psy operatives are dominating. I really like what I'm seeing. Good, that's one, uh, two drones, three, that's five, which means we have two to four more enemies. Um, we're almost at our target, so don't need to push too hard yet. Give Sam a chance to catch up. That hits all three of them with a blinding protocol. That's the last pack, by the way. Very nice disorientation. Fortifying ourselves, moving in. I want to roast them next turn. And a bit of mind merge just so that our front line is safe. They are still very much in uh, disoriented, so the way that we're triggering Overwatch is going to be with a Mind Merge. Okay, should be able to get to here, rows two, and be fine. Okay, I'll go. Thanks to the mind merging, we're good. Burns and the other one is severely damaged, which is great. Gets me to over here, where we're not dealing with full cover, but rather half cover. Sit a miss shot. But 50% better than 3 times 22%. Uh, chance of taking the Sidewinder out for a turn. Uh, we did exactly that. Frodo fully moves up. Because Frodo needs to hack very soon.
we need to get out over there so um That's unfortunately a miss. Moving up. Come on. That might be good enough. The grazing shot is all I needed. As we are reloading and then soul firing, can't insanity the same one twice. <clears throat> Fabulous. That solves this problem. We're going to take the loot and we're going to go out very soon okay well I see mm -hmm. I actually need to go around the corner here to hack this bit, bit of a strange um, bit of a strange situation but okay whatever in the meantime, pick up the remaining loot. Plenty of cores, which is great. It's almost as if the game gives us... Oh yeah, exactly what we want. Good, nothing here. Very good. Opens the door. And then we're getting out of here. Uh, I would love to, to do that. That is free intel. Plenty thereof. 30, uh, 30 odd intel. Or if you're not, a, not doing it with a network tower, it's even more than that. Now the idea is stay together and don't get separated. with the reinforcements or the lack thereof. Shattered Realm will be the one that is the slowest here, unfortunately. 
But we will not leave anyone behind. Okay, now we do have a problem. So certain VIPs are allowed to double move. You are allowed to double move as well, Frodo. to move as well. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. Question number one, does uh, this even trigger or are we okay? I think they see Shattered Realm so they will sort of trigger. No, they won't, which is good. plenty of turns left over but as you can see now it becomes way more difficult because all of a sudden reinforcements are popping in rescue protocol onto Timbit aka Shattered Realm who is potentially not gifted with a lot of speed but that means he might be super good in uh, hitting uh, things Good, the Psy Operators really shined in this mission. Very difficult mission, plus four AP. Love it. Keep uh, these uh, extra AP rolling. Difficult mission, very difficult mission. This one was, relatively speaking, very difficult. I mean... If you extrapolate it to a strength 10 region, it would have kicked our ass because uh, all of a sudden you would have dealt with plenty of reinforcements. I can't imagine the aliens are too happy about this one, Commander. Hell of a job. I stand corrected, by the way, we don't need extra recruiting money because we are getting these guys for free. Cool. Um, Nalward. Project uh, psionic shields around soldiers and nearby allies. The shield will collapse if soldier is killed. Okay, that's like the ability from... Uh, from the shield bearer. Hmm. Let's test it. I don't mind giving it a, sh a shot. Soul Steel is fantastic. Fuse is also really good. We're good with the training. Okay, laboratory is incoming, and let's take a look at our two new recruits. And the question is, are they any good? For starters, they are definitely not psionic material. Shattered uh, Realm, by the way, has 16 movement. I have not seen that on the mission. Uh, the guy is an absolute beast uh, in terms of moving, uh, so that could be... A fantastic assault if I've seen one big hit points big movement the aim is shitty but uh, 
the salts don't necessarily need that much and we got a good uh, shot here so let's take a look at the classes uh, that we may or may not uh, need and uh, see one two three four five i actually do have enough assaults we could also make him a specialist because we could use that we're a little bit shy on grenadiers uh, granted i must say though that um, in this version of long war not the ultra biggest fan of grenadiers the grenades still don't remove enough cover and once the grenades are empty the classes is a bit uh, shell of its former self could play it with uh, more with some support grenades i suppose but uh, add on top of this the lost where uh, the grenades are actually spawning them um, maybe they just uh, i just need the plasma grenade upgrade sting grenades are also fine i think for crowd control they aren't bad we got plenty of gunners one two three four five six which is good, uh, not a problem there. One, two, three, four, five Psy operatives. Could use one more Psy ops. I think we're a bit short on rangers, so I like. I actually like the class a lot. Um, one or two more sparks would be fine. Uh, so maybe Lian Zhang becomes a ranger uh, because she has good aim, so that would be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six sharpshooters were okay on sharpshooters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shinobis, which is one for each um, outfit, plus um, a few extra ones. They can later become haven advisors. Uh, so um, shinobis are totally fine might as well take an extra one one two three four specialists so a fifth one wouldn't be too bad we're short on them uh, technicals uh, mm, i would almost count them together with uh, the grenadiers as both of them are removing uh, cover only difference is the technical has uh, also has the uh, flamethrower with rose and with the changes to fire that is really strong so i would consider them a currently at least from what i've seen in this playthrough a little bit stronger than the grenadiers so i'm wondering should we maybe do one grenadier and uh, one ranger that could be a good uh, setup i definitely i definitely would need one grenadier and one ranger could also get the specialist one two three four so shattered realm could be a specialist the high movement and high hit points actually promote him more towards the grenadier because uh, they can then be at the front line hmm i'm torn hacking set isn't that great but it isn't totally bad either so that and dodge could lead toward uh, it could lean towards um, more of a specialist you know what we'll make him a specialist and uh, ranger leon john When is the training done, by the way? I think very soon, four days, and then we can train uh, the next rookie into a ranger. Okay. So given where we are, we do have still two more missions that I want to do right away and we're going to do them in the next episode which means this episode comes to an end. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate uh, your viewership. If you like what you're seeing leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye!